I really need to get this unit on the board tonight for the game, but let's see. Speed painting. Slap chop. Slap chop 2.0. Suck cut. Slap chop but better. Slap chop but better. Rur rur. Slap chop but better than better. Better. Burr burr burr. Slap. This is. Slap chop competition? No. What I need is slap chop, but worse. Here it is, slap chop 0 0.5, slap chop, but worse. So what we, the first thing that you need to do is prime all the minis black and then I took a flesh tone from Vallejo spray paint and gave it kind of like a zenith all over everything. So that way when I put the flesh tone contrast onto it, it had the varying um, shades to grab onto. You have that really dark underside of it and then up on top where the light would hit it more, more of the flesh tone. These really complement with each other. They really pop and work out well. One thing to make sure of when you're painting up these dwarves is they never skip lats in thick thighs, never lie. So really make sure you used a good amount of contrast paint to grab all those details across their back, all their muscles, their arms, their legs, but be controlled with it. Just like regular slap chop, you don't just throw the paint around. You really do need to be focused. And Dwarves also focus on another aspect of their life, and that's the beard. And this isn't my beard that's peppered gray from three kids, high stress jobs, and the copious amounts of caffeine. This is a rich, leathery brown. Really smooth and well taken care of. So show that here with a nice, smooth brown contrast. All my dwarves have a lightning theme on them. I really didn't want to stick with the traditional fire for the fire slayers. So for all the cloth and the headdress, I choose this teal contrast. Really be creative. Throw any color combination you want on here. Try mixing them, uh, doing the tops, ones, stripes, whatever you want. I'm going for quick and effective on this. So I'm sticking it with one. And just like that, we're getting really close to finishing these. And this is the part that really ties everything together. It smooths it out and it makes it look like one cohesive mini. And this is putting on that black Templar contrast over all the metal, all the doodads and the bits and bobs. Now this is the most painstaking part of the entire process, but honestly, the whole thing probably took me under two hours to paint all five minis. So that's a full unit. And again, just be controlled with it. Really don't go crazy. You wanna have crisp, clean lines, fast yet effective. And now to emphasize the gold runes, I didn't wanna go through and pick out each one and just take all this extra time. So I took a gold and I dry brush all the skin. This had an effect I didn't think about that made them look like a bronzy, uh, like a Greek gladiator vibe to it, but all those runes stick out and they pop out really nice with it. And the last thing to do here is to take some lead belcher and dry brush all those bits and bobs, all the metallics. This is another step you can skip if you wish, but I think this brings it up to the next level. Just like that, we're pretty much done. But wait, there's one more step. And that's the secret weapon. Any of my quick painting, and I want to have that little accent thing at the end, I have to bust out Turbo Dork. Twin Suns is an excellent color that really matches this theme, so I just hit the highlights, the edge of the axe there. Don't have to do anything other than a couple real thin coats on it, and bam. 
has some great shifting color, and we're all done. And that's it, Slap Chop 0 0.5. Sometimes you just need to get that unit on the table and it just get a crisp unified feel across all of them and you have no like painting passion project that you want to do for it. And that's totally acceptable. And that's anything you want to put on the table, by the way, totally acceptable. So as always, if you like this video, like, subscribe, possibly share and throw a comment below if there's something else that you want to see maybe some quick painting tips some more details on some of the stuff that i did here or some more examples of how these can be used or other quick painting methods and as always abu